Hey everybody, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going over a heck of a lot of bang. First, we're gonna start off with my tier list, going over all the flavors, finishing with my top five flavors. Then, we're gonna move on to your choices based on a survey that I took over the last several months. And we'll take a look to see how your list compares to my list. All coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today, I'm happy to say, is my very first tier list. And what better way to start with your first tier list than doing bang energy drinks? And since it's my very first tier list, I gotta tell you, I'm hoping for the best because a whole bunch of stuff in old Fogarty like me had to learn. I had to learn how to record my screen while recording this video, learn how to do a tier list. I haven't even edited the video yet, so we'll see what happens when I try and put all those together. Fingers crossed. So, what to expect from this video? I'm gonna be doing a tier list of all the bang flavors, minus the caffeine-free ones. What's the point, really? Caffeine-free energy drink. Bah. And I'll end with my top five flavors that I think are the best. Then, I'll move on to the survey that I took, and I'll let you know the top five based on your votes. I also have a few reminders that I'm gonna go over, some announcements about what I'm gonna be doing. Timestamps are down below, so you can skip around wherever you wanna go. So, a few quick reminders. Do you like new energy drinks? Do you wish you could have six new energy drinks delivered to your door every month? Do you wanna try those six drinks with myself and 10,000 other people? Numbers may vary. If so, check out my what's in the box video. In that video, I go over all the details of a monthly premiere video that I'm gonna be doing that's based on an energy drink box that you can have delivered to your door. Each person will receive a box that has six energy drinks in it, and in the premiere video, we can go over them together and chat with each other in the chat about what we all think about them. It's gonna be a great time, so check out that video. August 10th and 11th, I am gonna be at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut for Terrificon. It's a huge Comic-Con that they have there, so if you like comics and you like Comic-Cons, I highly suggest you check it out, and if you go, definitely stop by my booth and say hi to Caffeine Man. I don't actually expect anyone to buy tickets just to come see me because that's ridiculous. The tickets are like 30 bucks. So really, you should be going for Val Kilmer, Billy D. Williams, all the famous people, the cosplayers, Magic the Gathering, all the comic book artists, have your comic book signed if you have a favorite comic book, all that Comic-Con stuff. And if you do stop by, guess what you can buy at my booth that I'll be selling? Yep. Hey, gotta recoup the cost of the booth somehow while getting the name of Caffeine Man out there. I'll include a list of Terrificon down in the description box below, as well as a link to the What's in the Box video. So if everything works out well, I should be at the bottom corner of the screen, and the tier list should be taking up all the screen with only me and a small portion of it. So let's get the bad ones out of the way. Not that they're bad necessarily, but let's get the different ones out of the way. When it comes to Bang Energy Drinks, they got a big line of energy drinks, but then they also experimented with the keto coffee flavors and the iced tea flavors. And even though some of them were good and some of them were just kind of okay, I'm not gonna include those with all the other ones because all the other ones are just great. And some of you might think that the iced teas and coffees are great, but honestly, none of them can compare with even the worst flavor Bang. So automatically, I get an NA that I set up down at the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna toss the keto coffees in there. Of course, these were rectangle pictures, and for some reason it made them square, but I know the drinks so well that I know exactly which ones they are just by the color. And actually, I know that this one right here in the middle is the uh, Heavenly Hazelnut. I'm gonna actually just move that one up a little bit because you know what, that was the best of the three, so might as well give it a little higher ranking. And the same thing goes for the iced teas. I'll see which ones I got down here, put them down in the NA. One, two, three, that's not the iced tea, that's lemon. Iced tea, bam. And this one right here, this was actually the peach, jo sweet Georgia peach one. I really like the sweet Georgia peach one, so I'm moving that one up too. Bam, there we go. Coffee's done, iced tea is done. Let's move on to the lower ones. I'm gonna start with the lower ones and work my way up. I might mix around the middle a little bit, but I'm gonna actually save the top five for the very end and then we'll go over your top five and see how they compare. So when we're looking at the bottom of the list, I just wanna point out, I think all the bangs are great. Even some of the worst bang flavors are still better than Celsius, Zevia, and a lot of the other energy drinks out there. Even the top flavors of a lot of the other energy drinks, I still think the bang bottom flavors are very, very competitive. So if I rank these as last place out of all the bangs, still better than a lot of the energy drinks out there. So we'll start off with my least favorite. And unfortunately, I know a lot of you are gonna be yelling and screaming at me in the comments, but it's just how I feel. It's a personal preference. 
Everyone's got a personal preference. You guys got a personal preference, and so do I. And I'm putting the sour heads down at the bottom. I mean, it's a great sour head flavor, but I just don't really like sour drinks much. And like I said, even though it was good, it still wasn't something that I would end up buying again. Next on the list that was even surprising to me, the Blue Raz. I think the Blue Raz was one of the original flavors that they had come out with, and I think they were still maybe experimenting with the flavors or trying to get a better feel. And I'm a very big fan of berry flavors, but I didn't really like the Blue Raz too, too much. It was still good, but with so many other great flavors, it ends up being in the D section. Following that is another one that people are probably gonna get upset about, because I know a lot of you like the alcoholic flavored ones, and honestly, they really don't taste like alcoholic beverages. They might taste kind of close, without the alcohol, but I wasn't really that big of a fan of them, so next one is gonna be Pina Colada. Now that being said, next up is gonna be Champagne, and even though the Pina Colada was a decent tropical-y kind of flavor, when it came to the Champagne, it actually had an interesting flavor, so I'm actually putting that at level C, because it actually was pretty good. It didn't really taste like Champagne, but whatever they think Champagne tastes like in an energy drink, it still ended up being a pretty good flavor. Even in my first review when I did it, I couldn't really even pinpoint the flavor, but it was still a good flavor. The next one I'm gonna position is the Power Punch that they had, and I thought it was a really good fruit punch flavor, and it's actually healthier than any of the other fruit punches out there because it doesn't have any sugar in it. So when you look at it that way, it's a really good fruit punch. It tastes just like a great fruit punch without any of the bad ingredients that are in fruit punch, such as sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that into C position. Next up, we're gonna go with the lemon. Now, similar to the sour, I'm not really a fan of lemon that much, but I do admit the lemon was a pretty good flavor, and although I probably wouldn't pick it up again, I still admit that it was a really good flavor, so if I'm gonna place that, I was gonna place it down here in C, but I admit, it was pretty good. I mean, I liked it, I'll put it in B, and I can actually picture having it this summer if I was out somewhere, and they had it, I'd be like, that is a refreshing lemon drink. Next up, I want to talk about some of the sodas. There are three flavors that taste just like soda, and what's awesome about that is that if you like those soda flavors, these flavors are absolutely awesome, and they're not soda. They are so much healthier than soda, but they taste just like the real thing. So the first thing that we're doing is the black cherry. I'm grabbing that black cherry, going right by D, right by C, and putting it, bam, right up there in B. B is a good rating, it's not the best rating, but for something that tastes like a soda, and it's not a soda, I still think that's a pretty good rating. Next up is the Root Beer Blaze. Now, I'm not sure if it's being discontinued or not because a lot of places don't have it anymore, but when I tried to look it up, I couldn't find any information about it being discontinued. I don't think it is. I think it's just so popular that people are buying it like crazy and some of the stores don't have it, or maybe they wanna like limit the amount of flavors that they have it. I don't know what the case is, but this Root Beer is the best Root Beer I ever had, which is crazy because it's not even root beer, it's a root beer flavor. But they did an awesome job with the root beer flavor. So when I'm putting that on the list, I'm taking that, and you know what? Boom, it's going right up there in the B. No, that root beer is so, and I don't even like root beer too much, it's going up to A, that's right. Root beer going up to A. Next up, we'll talk about Purple Haze. Purple Haze is an amazing grape drink. It tastes just like grape soda, and it's not soda. So when we look at that one, Boom, grabbing it, and we're gonna put it right up there, right up in the B spot. No, we're going A again, we're going A. Even though they're soda flavors, they're awesome, excellent, magnificent, awesome soda flavors. They're going up there. I mean, and the thing is, I don't even like soda. There's a lot of reasons why I don't like soda. I was gonna do a video on it, I just haven't had time. But I don't drink soda anymore. I mean, when I was a kid, I probably had a whole bunch of different sodas, but I really don't drink soda much anymore because it's not good for you. So if I can actually find an energy drink that's healthy, that tastes like soda, that's a huge plus. Great job, bang. So next up on the list, we're gonna talk about that Cherry Blade Limeade. I heard a lot of good things about the Cherry Blade Limeade, so I was kind of excited to try it. I'm not really a lemonade person, so having a limeade was kind of curious. And even though I'm not a huge fan of the lemonades and the limeades, I still thought it was a great flavor. So when I have to put that someplace, I'm taking it, and it's not going up to A, it's going to the B slot. But B is a good rating for something that I don't really like that much, but I always try not to let my personal opinion get in the way of my reviews. But this isn't a review, this is Caffeine Man's tier list, so that's my personal preference. It's going in the B slot. It's still really good, but it's not in my top. And that, that, was, that, was, that was the peach mango. See, I said I knew the colors, and I, I didn't know the colors. That was, uh, yeah. That one's the Cherry Blade. 
There you go, Cherry Blade. Going into B slot. I knew I was going to mess up. I could use that as an outtake, but eh, nah, wasn't really that funny. But we are getting down to the nitty gritty because I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven left down there. That means we're getting to the top five soon. So which ones aren't going to make the cut? Let's get into those right now. You know, you look at it and you say, hmm, what's down here? And I say, that Star Blast. That Star Blast was good. I really like that Star Blast. It tastes like a popsicle. It tastes like those rocket popsicles, the red, white, and blue ones. They made the red, white, and blue can. And it's it's amazing. I really like it. It's going all the way up. Almost, almost. It's going to A. It's going to A. Star Blast. Excellent, excellent flavor. I buy it. I drink it on a somewhat regular basis because it's at the top there. Because every now and again, I'm not feeling like those top five. I say, oh, swish things up. It's got a nice summer feel to it. It's summertime now. So what's the last one to not make it into the top five? Well, I don't know who's going to agree with me, who's going to yell at me. But as of lately, I've been trying different drinks out. And when you go down here and you grab this one, you say cotton candy. Cotton candy is good. I like the C4 cotton candy. I like several other cotton candies. And the Bang Cotton Candy is kind of the original cotton candy, if I recall correctly. I think they might have been the first ones to do it. But uh, it's good going up it's going up into the a spot because it's very good um i didn't think i was actually going to be a big fan of a cotton candy beverage because i never really liked cotton candy much as a kid it's just way too sweet i mean it's pure sugar basically but they did a great job with the drinks it's going into my a spot which brings us to the top five that's right caffeine man's top five we're gonna go from five to number one so what's gonna be in fifth place here we go Fifth place is gonna be the Purple Pear Guava. I love Purple Pear Guava, but you know what? It's still not the top. I've been a big fan of pear lately. This was the first pear flavor I ever had. I thought it was amazing. And as of recently, Red Bull came out with a sugar-free pear. I'm not sure if they came out to compete with this or not, but the sugar-free Red Bull pear is really good as well. So I've been actually having a thing for pear lately. Haven't found a lot of companies that make it, but that Purple Pear Guava, it's really good. It's number five. Next up might come a surprise for some of you. If you guys are trying to predict what my top was going to be, you might say, I've watched a lot of his videos and he said that the peach is his favorite. And even though peach flavors are my favorite when I'm doing reviews, I got to say the peach mango by Bang, it's in fourth place. It's still excellent. You're up in the top notch. You're in the top five, but you're number four because Bang came out with some flavors that are even better than the peach. Peach might be my preference. It's not winning this battle though. Top three. What is number three? Whew. And coincidentally, these top three are actually the three newest flavors as of right now on the market. They're actually coming out with another keto flavor or something that's keto, but it, they said they might bring it into all the lines. It's all over Instagram if you wanna check it out. But as of right now, these three flavors, the Bangster Berry, the Frosé Rosé, and the Rainbow Unicorn are their three newest drinks out there. Now this next one is in the top three, unlike the other alcoholic beverages, because it doesn't taste like a Frosé Rosé. It's far from a Frosé Rosé. But for Frosé Rosé, it tastes like liquid nerds. And who doesn't like liquid nerds? I mean, they don't make liquid nerds, but this is what liquid nerds would taste like. It's a nice sweet flavor. It's a watermelony, strawberry, grapey kind of flavor. And it is amazing. It is going into my number three spot. Bam, number three. So now, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm sweating because it's like 95 degrees today, having a heat wave. Do have air conditioning, but it's in the other room. So it's 80 in here, so it's not too, too bad. But that's not the reason why I'm sweating. I'm sweating because this was a very, very difficult decision that I had to make. I had to decide between these two flavors and I love them both. Rainbow Unicorn, Bangsta Berry. So drum roll, please. I'm not good with sound effects. I'm not, I'm not gonna edit anything in. Make that truck. There you go. I tell you, these cars got perfect timing sometimes. I got the cops going by at the right time. I got the trucks going by. That was your truck drum roll. The next one on the list, very, very, I'm torn about it. I mean, they would both tie if I would allow ties, but no ties allowed in the tier list. There always has to be a number one. There always has to be a number two no participation trophies we got to have a first and second place and when we go down here we look at where my mouse is gonna click i say hey, which one which one's in second which one's the one which one's in second and then the way i figure it out is i actually couldn't figure it out i've been thinking about this video for a couple weeks now a couple months now but i knew i was doing the video 
for this week. So what did I do over the last two weeks? I actually had one flavor for five days straight, Monday through Friday on my way to work. And I said, let's see which one I get sick of first. I didn't get sick of either one, but when Saturday came, I said, well, which one do I want to have now? And that's how I was able to come to the conclusion that even though they're both delicious flavors, oh, rainbow unicorn. Yep, I drank you five days in a row, and on that Saturday I said, would I feel like another rainbow unicorn right now? Like, eh, not really. It's very sweet, it's very birthday cake-ish, it's strawberry vanilla, no one's, really, no one's really been able to describe it accurately. But long story long, came in second place because that Bangster Berry, I know, I gotta click on it and put it up there, even though you already know, number one spot right there. You know, I am definitely a berry person, you know that I'm a berry person, even though Blue Raz is way down there, and even though I'm a peach person, I like fruit peach, berries, all that stuff. Bankster Berry is an awesome flavor. I actually have a place near me that none of you guys probably know because you're not from Rhode Island. If you are from Rhode Island, leave a comment down below, but it's called D. Louise Bakery. They have the best blueberry pie I have ever had. And I've actually gone to the Big E and they have like those New England states, if you've ever been there, buildings and stuff. And three different places have blueberry pie. I've had the Maine blueberry, I've had the New Hampshire blueberry, I had the Vermont. I've had lots of different blueberry pies because I love blueberry pie. But that D. Louise is the best. It's got lots of blueberries. It's really, really sweet. And when I drink this Bankster Berry, it tastes like liquid blueberry pie. A little mix of raspberry in there, maybe a touch of blackberry, a bunch of different berries because it's Bankster Berry, but it is an amazing Bankster blueberry pie, liquid blueberry pie flavor. I can't say enough good stuff about it. I absolutely love it hit my number one spot. I drank it Monday through Friday in the morning. And on Saturday, I said, can I drink another one again? Answer was yes. So there you have it. That is the tier list of Caffeine Man for Bang Energy drinks and my top five Bang Energy drinks as well. So now let's take a look and see where you guys ranked. Now I know it's nothing. Gonna, it's not gonna be mind blowing because there was only 100 votes and out of 10,000, almost, almost 10,000 subscribers, out of almost 10,000 subscribers. I got 100 people to speak up and give me their votes, and here are the numbers. According to your votes, fifth place goes, and I don't agree with it, to Blue Raz. That's right, Blue Raz made it to the fifth place. What was fourth place? I don't agree with this one either, but it made the top five, which made the top five of me too. It's the Rainbow Unicorn. I put Rainbow Unicorn number two, you guys put it four. Hey, it's in the top five, so that's a great spot to be in. Number three, I'm also happy about because it was in my top five, and that's the Peach Mango. I liked it, you guys liked it, it's in the top five. What's number two? Number two wasn't on my top five list. It was close, eh, it wasn't too close. This is the Black Cherry Vanilla. It's a great soda flavor. You guys put it at number two. So close to number two, it was only one vote away from number one. That's right, just one vote away from number one. And what is the number one by you guys? is the same as this guy. That's right, you guys voted for the Bankster Berry. You guys are so smart. Didn't have any influence on my decision. I still thought Bankster Berry was beating out Rainbow Unicorn by a little bit. But that Bankster Berry really gets me going. Apparently it gets you guys going too. So there you have it. That's your top five voted by you. My top five voted by me in my tier list of all the Bang energy drinks minus the caffeine free one. Why do you bother even making caffeine free? I gotta talk to that Jack. Jack, you watching my videos yet? I mean, I only got 10,000 subscribers, but you can watch the vid, almost 10,000, yeah, close, almost 10,000. But anyway, I, I know, I know, you need caffeine free in there for the people that are sensitive to caffeine. I, I got it, I got it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys like my video of my tier list. I usually don't do this, so if it's hot wherever you guys are, try and stay cool and have yourselves a great day or night.